really a milestone. Thank you all very, very much for being here. I'm Commissioner Kathy Gannon from the Super District 6. And as you know, I love our senior centers and I do try to get by and visit a lot. <clears throat> so I was here visiting not too long ago and ran into my friend Evelyn Kennedy and she's not here, so I'm very sorry. But she said, you know, I'm turning 90 this year. And I was like, oh, that's great. Let's have a birthday party. And so we can't do one without doing every one, right? So we decided that we were going to recognize our senior center nonagenarians. Who knows what that is? 90 year olds. That's right. That's right. It's someone between the age of 90 and 99. So those would be the people who have been, who have celebrated or are celebrating their 10th decade. Is that not awesome? It really, really is. So here we go. And another round of applause for the transportation drivers. <laughs> that is what we decided to do. And um, it's a big, big milestone. So my staff, primarily Kelly Cato, if you um, ever call my office, you'll get Kelly's happy little voice on the message machine. <laughs> or um, she'll call you back, or she arranges my calendar and keeps me running straight. So Kelly got with Human Services, and thank you, Daryl. Is, where's Daryl? Daryl just walked in. Thank you, Daryl, um, to arrange this recognition for all of our center nonagenarians. And, um, they collaborated with the History Center, DeKalb County History Center. They went and dug up some history. Uh, the archivist from uh, DeKalb History Center is Fred Mobley. And um, DCTV, our folks from DCTV, who you'll see around the room um, filming this. And DCTV, and now if you don't, we're channel 23. So you can um, have fun watching. <laughs> Watching the board meetings if you need something to put you to sleep. If you have any issues falling asleep, just uh, watch us. But they also do some great programming about programs in DeKalb County. And so turn it on every once in a while and see what's going on. I also want to introduce Damon Scott, who is our new director. There you go. Our new director of human services. If you'd stand up and give everyone a wave. Thank you. We're proud to have him with us. It's been uh, how many days on the, two months, three months maybe? Two months. Two months on the job almost. And so we haven't had a director of senior services, human services, for a very, very long time, human services. So we're really glad to have him on board and look forward to working with him about how to um, make our services to seniors better. So he will be talking with you to get your ideas because if there's anyone knows who knows how to improve our services to seniors, it's you all. And um, you're not shy about telling us what you think, so we're very glad to do that. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and do our video presentation that everyone has worked so hard on, and then we're gonna run right through our program because we have wonderful little surprises for everyone who is a nonagenarian. Let's watch this wonderful video and then we will continue. Let me get out of the way. The now bustling streets of DeKalb County, blooming with activity, commerce, and community, were once a bit more muted, slower, but still full of community, pride, and the search of opportunity. Life in 1915 in DeKalb County was a predominantly rural setting with a series of small towns and communities. It was a period where any business that was conducted, especially related to government or court, you had to come to, to Decatur. The kaleidoscope of nuances and developments of technology and infrastructure here in DeKalb and across the globe can not only be grasped through these images produced by the DeKalb History Center, one can also catch a glimpse into the history of DeKalb and life in the early 1900s through the oral history of some of our most seasoned residents. I'm Shakri at uh, Carlton Keru, born on the 8th of March, 1921, 
the Freetown Tower Leon. Hi, I'm Evelyn Kennedy, and I'm 90 years old. I'm Gordon Leroy Branker. I'm 94 years old. They are called nonagenarians. It's just absolutely incredible. I mean, just the idea of all that they have gone through, all that they have seen in terms of change. I've sent all my children here for education. They had preceded me. And uh, I've had very good news about the place. So I was very much attracted by the information I had and also the pictures that I, that I received. When I moved from Jersey here, um, I met people, it was very nice. And there's a vast difference between New York and the South. A lot of things that you hear in the South, um, in New York, you don't hear in the South. I come here and I see there's a difference between that type of thing. Well, there aren't too many of us who are still active and have reached this age, and I think that there is some honor to just reaching it, and reaching it in fairly good health is much more important. I had a wonderful run as mayor. I liked everybody and everybody liked me. We, we didn't have any great problems. We, it was a small town and, and uh, nobody ever got mad at anybody and we just had a good run. Celebrating each and every day, these nonagenarians have settled into an easy life where they each enjoy spending time at one of DeKalb County's six senior centers. I go there every day except Saturday and Sunday, you know, yeah. Uh, very interesting because I'm getting more with this piano lesson. I take classes, exercise classes for the most part, and uh, I usually eat lunch there. I enjoy it, I enjoy the people, and I enjoy the interaction. It's, uh, it's a nice, the, the news center is quite nice. Branker and his blushing bride of 15 years, Virginia, were actually the 100th and 99th members, respectively, to join the Lou Walker Senior Center. Well, I like doing shooting pool. I enjoy that. I'm fascinated by shooting, especially when I see a person who hit a ball and make it go a different direction. It's a beautiful art. You meet a lot of people and you see some people who are in their just 70 or 80, they're working like that and all like that. But with me, I can jump or roll, move around easily. I feel quite comfortable and I know right here in, in the Cobb County. And as these seniors reflect on the way life used to be, one can only forecast the way life will evolve based on the many developments seen through the very eyes of our most senior residents. The world is open. It's not closed. People were interested in people and talking and visiting. And now it seems as though everybody's got a device in their hand and they're listening to that and they're not listening to you when they're talking to that. And I would say slow down, <laughs> listen. For all of our seniors, where no matter when they became DeKalb County residents, we are so happy to have them in our family and we want to share our very best wishes for many, many more happy birthdays and happy holidays all at the same time. They really help us look forward to our 90s. So thank you very, very much. Wasn't that nice? Let's give DCTV a round of applause. Now my staff wanted me to recollect on uh, my first 90 years, and, um, and I'm not that far behind, actually. And so I think it's, uh, I'm not going to tell any stories about um, what it was like in my hometown. I grew up in Upper Michigan. Um, they call us Youpers. Um, so suffice it to say that this point in time, the, no matter how far back you go, the Upper Peninsula was pretty much covered in snow. 
We did, they did a lot of logging. There was a lot of trees. They had an iron ore industry. And it was very, very rural. So much like every other place, we, before we started um, all of the development and the highway systems, and, and um, now, I've got, as um, Evelyn pointed out, everyone's talking on their smartphones. Everything is smart. But you, you know, the phones are smarter than we are at this point in time. And uh, when I turn 90, who knows? They, they'll be, just be telling us what to do, I guess. But she's right. We walk around, and that's what we see, right? Everybody's down looking at their smartphone, either um, having it tell them what to do or where to go, or Siri, where is this? How do I do that? They won't be able to function like you all can with reality. So. I am just thrilled that you're here. Thank you very, very much. I'm not going to tell any stories, but the CEO and I are very, very honored to recognize you and celebrate your many experiences and wish you all the very, very best for a very long, long, long continued life. And for those of you who came in support of our nonagenarians, we look forward to having your happy birthday celebration in the future. So um, we have some very special presentations, certificates, that we would like to give out. And, um, but first, let me um, quickly just recognize the folks here from the different centers. Victoria Kingsley is here with her, some friends from the center, 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 central center, <laughs> the central center. All right. Of course, we're, um, thank you to Yolanda. Mendoza, there you go, Mendoza, and the North Central. Can North just wave to everybody and say hello? Okay, thank you. Lou Walker is here. They made a very long trip. Thank you, guys, for, girls, guys, for being here. All right, and South DeKalb, we saw South DeKalb come in. Where are they? Raise your hand. Oh, there you go. Okay, you all look very lovely. And uh, Savonia, it could not make it with you today. Did Lithonia and Bruce Street? folks get here yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, Hazel could not make it either. And what about the folks from um, DeKalb, East Atlanta? They're the ones who are floating on a bus somewhere. <laughs> Pardon me? DeKalb Atlanta. Did you make it? All right. Are you right here? Okay, thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give out our presentations, and I'm going to read this. This is um, the certificate says, Celebrating Nonagenarians in Recognition of, and I'm going to read your name, 90 years old or more, nine decades of memories, 1,080 months of happiness, 4,680 weeks of love, 32,850 days of wisdom, 788,400 hours of laughter. <laughs> okay, so first we'd like to recognize is Alice Adler here? Alice is not here, okay. And if the center directors maybe can take the certificates for them and give them to them. Okay, that's all right. I'll just read them all anyway. Thank you. Loretta Bernstein. Thank you. Gordon Branker. There he is. Gordon, can you come up? I know you're a celebrity now. <laughs> Thank you. Sequoia Carlton Caro, our other celebrity. Are you here this morning? Carl, Mr. Okay, there you go, Carlton. Mr. Carlton Carroll. Okay. And if you can get to turn around, they should be on TV. And thank you for your interviews also. Thank you. Jean Castaneda. Aha, Jean's here. We want you to face the camera. Rosabella Worrell. Is Rosabella here? There you go. Awesome. Laura Childs. Hey, Laura. You want to come up or should we bring it to you? Claudia. 
Claudel Coachman. Is Claudel, there we go. Claudel, where's Claudel? Oh, there. June Com Comerford. Oh, there you go. Thank you, June. Okay. Lucille Crumbie. Where's Lucille? Robert Dunn. There you go. Thank you, Robert. Peggy Fett. Is, it, is that how you say it? Peggy Fett? Connie Fletcher. Okay. Thank you. Helen Ford. Helen's here, okay. Louise Garrison Honey. Thank you, honey. Irvin Gibbs. And that's Lou Walker. Can you take it for Lou? Thank you. Suzanne Goodell. There we go. Ann Henderson. South the cab. Where is South? There you go. Okay. David Halinger. Lou Walker. There you go. Thank you, David. Annabella Ivy. She's not here. Geraldine Jack. You go, girl. <laughs> Lucy Kemp. Lou Walker. I don't think she. Jack Kilgore, Central. All right. Sybil Leslie, Lou Walker. Oprah Lewis, Lou Walker, and she's here. Um, Polly Lewis, South DeKalb, she's not here. Elma Miller, Lou Walker. Olivia Mitchell, Lou Walker, she's not here. Frances Nugent, Central DeKalb. Thank you. Bessie Pigler, P-E-A-L-G-E-R, <laughs> right? Rodolphus Ro Roberson, Lou Walker. Helen Smith, Lou Walker. Cordelia Spencer, Lou Walker. Juanita Stewart. From. Lou Walker, Joseph Strother, Lou Walker, and I don't think Joseph's here. Mary Timmons, DeCab Atlanta, Richard Valentino, Central DeCab, and last but not least, Walter Weeks, North DeCab. Thank you. Thank you so very much. So, we have all our honorees. If, um, if it's possible, could you stand at your table or raise your hand while we give you a round of applause for your contributions that you have made to our world. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We are so honored that you could be here with us. Okay. Um, now, I think we're going to have some entertainment in the spirit of this celebration. We've brought along with us our very own South DeKalb Senior Choir. I believe they have distributed a song. And who's in charge of uh, the choir? Oh, here she goes. <laughs> Um, so find that if the little there was a little sheet, I think that they're going to help us sing with. Do you want folks to come up here? Okay. Can we have the choir come forward? Good morning, everyone. We have a name. We're the Voices of Victory, and we would like to perform for you today. And later on, we're going to ask you to join in with us. Our first selection is. 
Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Three. 